Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope. If you guys are tuning in for the first time or tuning back in after a long time of being away, I just want to first and foremost extend a very warm welcome to you and just let you know first and foremost that our purpose is to pray for you, then to share God's truth with you, and to create this into a community where you are known, loved, and valued. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. God is good, you believe it? Amen. Well, yes, I'm in a different spot today because I am at the Passion Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. This is my first time here. I'll be talking about my experience here when I get back home. But today, we are good topic. We're going to be in James 1, chapter 22. Um, James, no, James chapter 1, verse 22 to 24. So if you have your Bibles, would you please flip along to that passage with us? Or turn on your Bibles and flip it as well. And then as you flip into that passage, well, let me put this sort of up in a brief word of prayer. Then we'll jump into this topic. Let's pray. Oh, Father God, will you speak to us now about this topic, God? Um, teach us what he wants to learn about you and help us take something away from this topic and apply it to our lives. God, we love you, but we do not love you enough. This is why we come before you now. Amen. Oh, guys, by the way, we're talking about <laughs> um, listening to the word. And not just doing what it says, but listening to it as well. James 1, chapter 22 to 24 says this. Sorry, guys. It's hard when you don't have a camera, when you have to hold the phone. It says this. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Verse 23. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone... He's like someone who looks at his face in the mirror. And verse 24, and after and after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what, what he looks like. Amen. What does this mean, friends? And how does it start out? It says, do not merely just listen to the word. It's saying, do not merely listen to the word. If we all just only listen to the word, we're deceiving ourselves. This, so we're supposed to listen to the word, but we're also supposed to do something else. We're supposed to... Uh, it says, we're supposed to do what it says. Because it says, anyone who listens to the word, but does not do what it says, is like someone who looks at his face in the mirror. So if we do not just... If we do not... If we only listen to the word and do not do what it says, thing, we look like someone who looks at our face in the mirror, and what, and after looking at his face in the mirror, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. Friends, how, let's say your best friend, let me give you an example, before we move into the next part of the little closing part. Let me land the plane and send some go over here. You may be confused. What if your best friend told you a story about they were on a trip and they got back from the trip and they told you their time and you forgot everything that they told you? So they told you the story because they wanted to hear how the trip was, but you forgot about all the trip. <laughs> That'd be, that would basically, they'd be like, wait, what? Why did I tell you all this if you just forgot about it? Friends. Or well, let's say they told you about it, but you didn't like really ask any follow-up questions. Like, so did you have fun or whatever? Friends. I think so often we get so caught up in the day-to-day -day stuff. And we just listen to God's word. But we don't do what it says. We don't put it into practice. And it's just like us looking at ourselves in the mirror, but walking away and forgetting what we look like. Friends, I pray that we would remember to listen to God's word and do what it says. It will change stuff. Amen. Amen. Let me pray over us today. Because I feel like this topic can resonate um, with a lot of people. Let's pray. Father God, I just lift these people up to you, God, watching this video, God. If anyone is struggling with anything, Lord, I just pray that they would cast this the burdens and lay it at your feet, God. God, meet everyone with that, Lord. Remind them that they're not alone. 
God, thank you for who you are, God. We, we love you, but we do not love you enough. This is why we seek you, God. God, if someone needs to give their life to you today for the first time, Lord, I pray would say, God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you, God. I repent of all my sins, God. God, I need you. So, Lord, I please forgive me, wash me clean, and I accept you as my Savior. God, if someone needs to come back to you today, Lord, I pray they would say, God, I come back to you, Lord. I thought I could do this life without you, but, Lord, it's showing... There's just signs that I cannot do it without you. So, Lord, I come back to you, Lord. And, Lord, I just want to pray for the believers that are continuing to follow you, God. That we continue to go deeper into you and not grow weary, God. God, continue to give them the strength to live for you, God. Lord, I just lift, pray this all in your name, God. Be with everyone watching this video. People who are struggling and don't see a way for it to stop, God. Just be with them, Lord. Help them know they are loved by you, Jesus. God, we love you, but we do not love you enough. This is why we seek you now in your presence, in your word. God, we pray this all in your name. Amen. Well, friends, I hope you're blessed by this topic. Friends, if you need prayer or support, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are here to pray for you. We're here to talk to you. And until next time, just remember to keep Christ number one. And yeah, we love you all. We truly do love you all. So don't hesitate to reach out any time of day, day or night. So... Keep Christ number one, and yeah, God bless you all. Much love. Go in peace.